Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Loop Hero on Friday Night Roguelikes. Uh, so we're just I'm, we're just playing normally here. Uh, I did a whole other like run, but hey, we're at the boss, I guess. How is it possible? That's right. You didn't devour me like the rest of the world, haven't I? You really don't think so? What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. I consumed all of your reality. Its every element now rests in a separate pocket dimension. Spaces, living beings, information, even memories. Thus, she'll remain there until entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform static mess. Along with you, of course. This is like ultimate chaos. You're nuts. So, what do we have here? I see. You found a way to interact with other pieces of your reality. Organizing. This, uh, there's a D&D &D setting like this. I think it's Nether Valley. Possibly Nether Vale. Organizing, combining, and merging them. But how? I don't see any ex exceptional talent or knowledge in you. You hardly even understand what's happening, right? I'll tell you what's happening. Pile of Bones has butchered my world and thinks it can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you're just the first in a series of systematic errors, a problem I must learn to solve. He's doing his own roguelike. He, he's doing his own repeat, like repetitive runs where every, every run you have a new thing to deal with and, and you do it again and over and over. It's not wasting any time. I don't think you're capable of feeling regret, but I'm about to change that. Yeah, I'm not doing good. Well, let's, let's not do it that slow. Thirty percent? Jesus. He's kicking my ass. So what happens when we die? Death does not favor the fallen, but it made a little exception. I hope that's only the first time. But yeah, I'm glad I, I gave it a shot. I'm alive, but how? Thanks to us, a small group of you dragged you back. <laughs> a small group of us dragged you back. It wasn't easy. How'd you fight off all those monsters? They nearly killed me. That's also interesting. Many of them were vanishing before our eyes. Some we managed to avoid, but I think most of the monsters were gone before we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memory, my friend. It all fades away as soon as you space out for long enough. That's weird, but cool. All right. This game rocks. Let's build something, huh? Or nothing. <laughs> All right. Back in. We didn't unlock anything. Oh, no, we did. Chrono Crystals. Uh, able to refract not the light of the rising sun, but the passage of dawn. Doubles the effects of a day's passing. I like that. Yeah, I really don't care for Road Lantern. Um... I kind of am not using Oblivion enough either. Also, I don't really care about... <sighs> hmm. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Starting back out. Let's turn that speed up, huh? Let's do some city planning. Okay. Because this is, this is the thing that I've noticed. Because, like, for example, if we put all of our meadows here and then have vampire cottages or whatever the vampire mansions here, then we can basically upgrade all of those meadows because vampires tend to lands. And then if we put a... What does this actually do? I mean, it gives us something. And it counts for the, the boss... But it also spawns skeletons. Oops. See, like, for example, let's slap a vampire mansion here. And then if we put a meadow down, it heals 2 HP. But now it's been upgraded into a blooming meadow and it heals 3. So if that bottom line is all vampire mansions, and then meadows right next to it. And then up here we can put groves. Yeah, as you pass through you get pebbles.
Let's make this area like a cemetery area, and let's make it a super hard cemetery area. Oh, I'm getting gear as well. A dirk, shui, armor, shui, and rocks. I'm gonna hold on to that. Because when I get the treasury, then I can plunk down as many as I need. Let's double down. Yeah, see, so now we're doubling up on chests there. These are identical. Getting a lot of rocks, I see. Spider cocoon. We can put it here. Yeah, now we're getting vampires. Let's take a look at that. Broken longsword, awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah, I had a lot of vampire vampirism up last time. Huh. Are these occupied by those things? So I should wait to put battlefields down. Okay, I'm putting it together now. Yeah, double chests. Everyone loves big chests. Actually, my wife just got this gigantic chest. Like a like a trunk. It's super cool. She, like, refurbished it. Take a hit of damage. Uh, I'm not really willing to lose out on... This is better. But I'm not... I don't really want to lose out on... Uh, my regen or my damage. But yeah, my wife just got this big trunk. And we use it for storing linens now. But, like, she restored it and painted it black. And it looks really cool. I would post photos, but I don't have any. Okay, rations. Another repair. Not really a jump. Orange. Cool. And then just straight upgrades. More spider cocoons. So I should find a place to put them that doesn't impact my stuff. Maybe I can put them here. Yeah, maybe they go here. Because, like, I want to have a nice-looking thing as well. Let's not forget that. Ooh. Big armor. Big ring. Big sword. Treasury. All right, that's what I was waiting for. Oh, you burned them as well. Okay. Good to know. Now I do know. All right, treasury, and then mountain, a mountain, a mountain, a mountain, a mountain, and another mountain, and then some rocks. Yeah, see, look at that. Efficiency. Goblin camp. Okay, grove. Yeah, these are both groves, so we'll put both of them there. Oh, we can put a meadow here and get a bonus. Doi. All right, yeah. Though it is... What are you? What was that thing? I didn't get a chance to mouse over it. A little slow on the draw there. Uh, let's take some regen. I like when they become ghosts. Eh. This is straight up worse in every way, right? Well, it has the same attack speed buff, but... Yeah, the blood grove preys on stuff. So if anything is on low is on low health here, oh, maybe I should space them out like bam, 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 and get them surrounded. Chrono crystals doubles the. Let's do it here, because then we can hit all of these. Oh, maybe that was the gargoyle. I don't think I've seen a gargoyle yet, so. It's a big jump of health, but. Uh, 
Oh, you can't put them right there, right. Okay, so it doesn't matter anyway. Big shields. Hmm. Blood clot. Undead liquid has a soul. That's weird. Where do you come from, bro? Where are you? Super weird. Eh, I'll take it. I'll take what I have, that is. You... Hmm. The attack speed is nice. I think I'll keep with the attack speed. Because at some point, something, like, obvious is going to show up and be like, oh shit, cool, you know? Like, a big six. Yeah, see, I like seeing them all joined up like that. That's what I really want. Put a mountain in there. So I don't know if this... Oh, it does. Okay, so we have really big adjacency then. Bigger than I thought. So yeah, see, that animation only plays whenever, like, basically whenever you're just passing through Vampire Mansion. Yeah. Mountain. Yeah, all right. Noticeable change. And then we'll put some pebs down here. on this one? Vampirism. The vampirism is keeping me topped off. The thing about vampirism is that you need to have kind of crazy high health in order to take advantage of it. The gargoyles, yeah. Tier 5. Alright. Whenever, for some reason, whenever I would look at this game, I would think that it was about being a werewolf. Because the French word for... Yeah, big jump of 30. 31, in fact. The French word for werewolf is loup garou, which is loop as in, like, lupus. Um, which is the Latin word for wolf. I'm actually getting, like, I'm taking some real hits here and there. Okay. Can I get a second to rest and put things down? Oh, if you right-click and just hold it. Okay, cool. I don't know how hard these stack. I want them to stack where it's like, oh, you're below 30% health? All right, you will fucking take a hit. I might've made this too hard too fast though, unless, that's pretty good. Hmm. A treasury. Hmm. 
wipe those out. Because I can deal with the spiders, I feel. Yeah, I feel like the spiders are a lot easier to fight. And one goblin returned in that time. Okay, and then the meadow procced. Big jumps. And then these should be fine because as they're getting killed, yeah, they get killed quicker. Oh man, this lowest is almost as much as my highest. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, I'm kind of getting my ass kicked here. Yeah, like my, my regen almost like can't keep up. More meadows. More meadows. Only more meadows. See, I might need to hit the camp and get the hell out of here. I wonder if you can just... Oh yeah, on these squares, time goes quicker as well. That's probably why there's so many monsters. So I guess you want to put these on squares where it'll be like easy for you. Okay. Let's take an early leave. All right. Cool. Another success. You return and we still remember you. Unbelievable. Yeah, good to be back. I love this hat, by the way. I don't know if I've talked about it. Hardly call it a success. Mild memories of the world were gone. The only path, the path was empty again, and there was only darkness everywhere I looked. So technically, you remembered that you forgot something. You can find a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We tidied up. Time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expand the camp. We have people with all sorts of skills from the cook to the alchemist, but each needs a place to work. Can't build anything with the local materials. You found a branch or a rock, turn away for a second, and it's gone. I'm afraid only you can solve this problem. Those heroes that survive your trips always look suitable for building. Those are pebbles and splinters. How can you build anything with them? Curious, huh? I realize that when I saw your campfire, things you find spread stability to similar materials and things. It's only a little change, but it's something. Even a small branch is enough to make a wooden fence exist without constant oversight. This world is like... This sucks. So what is this? Craft if the supply depot is built. Provides basic gear. Oh, gymnasium. The village card. Do I want to be badass through my own work? Hmm. You don't have to rack your brain troll facts if you can just learn them again. Nice trick. No trickery here. Without education, we would degrade into savagery. You know, you could learn something new, too. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. Nah. I'll leave lessons to the kids. And here's your first lesson. Learn to enjoy learning. That would make life easier for you and me both. That's true. Damn. What is this? Stable metal. But that's all I can grab, huh? Oh, I love this game. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. Trait deck. Whoa. I don't even know how this works. Like the idea of a village. I don't really care about... Hmm. I don't really care about, um... Spider Cocoon, so I think I'm gonna take him out. They kind of mess up what I want. Heals upon entering and gives you a quest. Ooh, interesting. That's neato. All right. That was a big one. Wow. All right. Right.
Okay. The mountains will be up here, probably. Treasury, bingo. All right. We can put like um, other speed things near here. Yeah. Oh, we've got. Oh, what? Hold on now. Heroes. You unlock a XP? That's so cool. Oh man, this game has so much in it. This is neat as hell. Yeah. Should the blood grove go here? I guess there's only so many places like a blood grove can go. This game's cool, like Dude, this rocks. Yeah, all right. Hope oh, we're getting stuff as well. Same. So let's see what a meadow can do for us, huh? As well, let's see about a see about a fucking a level that's got to do something cool right all right filling up our rock supply i'll hold on to it and then i'll put the battlefield on when the vampires have, have appeared these guys can go down here though and then we can put villages here and make that easier. Yeah. Beacon. That's a pretty good place for it. Hell yes. Let's slap that there. Oh, I'm getting stuff, right. But these are all the level one whatevers. So yeah, these rat wolves spawn in the woods, but then we have an easier time killing them. Cool. Yeah, all right, we have a rock. Cool. Vampire Mansion. Go time. This game is so cool, dude. Wow, I'm getting my ass kicked now. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I just don't have enough healing on, I guess. Oh, that can... I can probably fix that, though, huh? I just need to actually equip my gear. Yeah, that ought to help. Doi. I'm running through high-level areas with level baby gear. What is that? Goblin? Right, when you put enough stuff on, you just get a goblin camp. I remember now. Wasteland. So if I put a battlefield here. Hmm. Yeah, I should uh, put things on those squares. I'm getting my ass kicked more than I would like. Then again, I'm not putting my gear on. This, this... Blood Grove is actually a really good place uh, to like put this because it means that the goblins will be under attack. 
better. Get some more rocks down. Yeah, I have 97 out of 700. I'm fighting at a loss here. They'll feed you and they'll make you work. 35 on entering. Ooh, nice. But that ensures that this will be safe. Hello. We have some stuff now. One hit versus... Yeah, that one sucks. This one's pretty good, though. This is great. And then let's make this zone the cemetery zone. Slap down another beacon. Another cemetery. And then I want to I want to get um things there. I wonder if, if these decay and go away, do you get resource for them? Because that'd be cool. Battlefield spawn more chests. This game's really cool. Oh, I right clicked this. Yeah, all right. And then more cemetery. We can put a battlefield there and get a little goodie for it. What the hell? Flesh golem. Weird. Crap. Well, that sucks. build a smithy. I feel like my equipment was hurting me there, or lack therein. By the anvil of the seven seas, if it is a little forge, yar har har, you have no idea how much I hear. It's in the heat of furnace and the smell of metal. We'll have some proper tools now, lady, you have my word. I don't know if I'm a boy or a girl. I don't really care myself, but you'll have something for the journey journeys yours. Quite enthusiastic. Something tells me you're no stranger to the sailor's craft. Shiver me, <laughs> how did you know? It doesn't matter, though, you're right. Don't you worry, I'll show these hammers whether they can hold a helm in a storm, even for a dozen days in a row. That's cool, dude. Ah, oh, this, this is so interesting. Yes, all right. Basic gear. Should help me keep the, keep the pressure on. And then what's more, we're also going to get... We're gonna get more goodies that uh, will can then decay. So let's put a grove here and a cemetery here. Let's make this. Yeah. Oh damn! I feel confident in putting stuff there. This is so neat, dude. Uh, let's have this be the end of the... Hmm? Bandit camp. Masters of trading their poverty for someone else's life. I see. It'd be cool if you could stack the cards together. Get upgraded versions. So yeah, too many villages looks like it'll... Uh, That's a bonus of one. I don't really care. Too many villages looks like it'll stack together in a way that will end up putting some badness into the world. Okay. Cool. Another grove. Yeah, grove's all in here. And then a meadow. No. Blood Grove, perfect. So that'll hit all five of those. 
Yes, that's what I want. And then the battlefield will hit three of them. Where does it tell me my quest? Oh, is this the quest? Quest goal. So it has more HP as a result of being my quest. Okay, cool. Fine by me. All right, I'm gonna bite the bullet and put down a uh, mountain and uh, more meadows. I don't remember you. You don't look like a local. That's because I'm not. I see, and you think you can just wander in these parts without consequences? Times are rough, you know. Nothing to bite, nothing to wet one's whistle. And we have to deal with strangers who have no sympathy for our poverty. What, think you're better than us? No? Did I guess right? Is this the correct answer? Because I'm getting the impression that this is one of those cases where my answer has zero influence on what happens next. Well, you've got insight, and it's the only thing you'll keep today. I'll take my big number. Come to think of it, murderers and thieves are part of this world, too. My mission is to return everything back to normal. Should I be happy they're appearing again? On the other hand, being disgusted with murder and theft is also part of this world, so I guess I don't owe it to anyone to be happy. Yeah, you know what? That's great. Good thinking. Alright, we gotta put down more mountains. Just to keep the lights on. Ooh, getting higher tier stuff. I should probably cut the episode because now we're not doing much, so I'll just say, I've been Alpha, this is Loop Hero. I'm enjoying it greatly. If you have the chance to buy this game, I would tell you to go do that. Uh, it's a lot of fun, but I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alpha, this has been Loop Hero on Friday Night Roguelikes. I'll see you next week. Bye.